it. We're going to do the craft for November 29th. And in the lesson today, if you were listening or got to watch, we learned about angels who came to the shepherds to tell them about Jesus' birth. And the shepherds were the first one to learn about the arrival of Jesus. So if you have your bag in front of you, you'll notice there's a note on there and it says, save these supplies for crafts on 12-29, 12-6, and 12-13. So you're gonna use everything in the bag. So three weeks worth of crafts in here. Don't throw anything away after today. Save it, put it in a safe place, and you're ready to go for the next two weeks. All right, so pull out your instructions and you can pull out the supplies, but keep track of them. So I'm gonna do the shepherd first. So. Here are some pictures that help explain what we're gonna be doing, but sometimes it's easier to just see it. So I'm gonna show you. So I have my, my stick ready, and I have a cupcake liner. So I have one, two, three. I need three for each shepherd. So I'm going to flatten it. And then I'm going to wrap it around the body the stick is the body. Okay, wrap it around the body. And then glue that in place. Okay, so now I'm gonna take another one and I'm gonna flatten it as well. These are gonna be the arms and the sleeves of the coat. So I've got my coat glued on. I'm gonna take this flat cupcake liner and I'm going to fold it in half. And now I'm going to fold it in half again. So I've got, I don't know if you can see that very well. Can you see what I've done? I fold it in half, fold it in half. I'm gonna put glue right here and right here. So it'll stay together. Drop a glue, drop a glue. And I'm gonna squeeze that together. Okay. And then in this part here, I'm gonna slide the pipe cleaner, the piece of the chenille for the arms, okay? So there you go. And then I'm going to glue that on the back of my shepherd. All right, so take a minute and glue it. Okay, so hopefully you've got it glued. Now we're gonna make the headdress or the headpiece, the cape, whatever. Take another cupcake liner, I'm gonna flatten it out just like I did the others. And then I'm gonna fold down just a little piece, just a little bit of it, not very much, okay? And then I'm going to glue that to my shepherd's head. And that will be part of the headpiece. So glue that, join me again. Okay, so I've got his headpiece on and I can fold that any which way I want to look like whatever I want to hang down his back or over his arms, whatever you'd like to do. And by the way, the arms bend because they are chenille. So we can move the arms forward, there is the shepherd, okay? All right, now let's bake the sheep. You need your puff balls and your sheep heads, which are provided in the bag. I'm just gonna make one right now. I'm just gonna cut around the sheep's head. I'm not gonna try and cut out those ears. It's pretty tiny, so I'm just gonna make a circle. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put a dab of glue on the back. Just a drop. And I'm gonna glue it to my puff ball. And that's your sheep. <laughs> okay, so now you can do a couple different things. You could have the shepherd holding the sheep and glue that sheep right there in his arms. Isn't that cute? Or you could glue it down by his feet laying on the ground sleeping because it's nighttime. And for the shepherd's crook or staff, fold a whole chenille in half, squeeze it, and then just twist. Twist, twist, twist until it is kind of stuck together in a twist. All right, fold that over and there's the shepherd's crook. All right, and I can actually have his hand roll up and hold that, okay? So if I twist that pipe cleaner around the staff, the shepherd can be holding the staff. Be sure to draw a face. 
So here's one that I did. See the face? And little feet. And here's another one. I put a beard on this one. So there's a beard and his feet and the sheep. Okay. Now I'm going to do the angel. All right. So for the popsicle stick angel, you're going to do the, the dress just like you did for the shepherd. So go ahead and do that. Flatten the a liner, glue it onto the stick. Okay, there's that, just like that. Now for the wings, we aren't gonna do arms for her the same way, so we're gonna do the wings. Flatten the liner, and then bunch it up. Okay. In the middle, like it's making a bow tie. Can you see that? Okay. Then you're gonna have your gold chenille, which is in the bag, and you wanna cut off about a third of it, so leave two thirds. So don't cut it in half, cut it a little, I don't know, can you see that? It's longer on one side, okay? And I'm gonna take the long side, and I'm gonna give it a twist, one twist around this, these wings to kinda of hold them in place. All right. And now I'm going to put them on the back of her body. So the wings will go like this, okay, on the back of her body with these chenille coming forward. Got both of them. Okay, and the way you make it stick is wrap that around the whole body once, and then an arm is out the front. Can you see that? It's about the right length now, too. So I'm gonna take this one, I'm going to wrap it all the way around the body, and that leftover part comes out the front, and that's the arm. Okay? So there you go. Now, for the halo, take that other little piece, wrap it around her head once, and twist it in the back. So I'm going to give it a little wrap. <laughs> I'm going to give it a little wrap and a twist, just so it stays in place. Let me show you the back. So that's all I did, just twist it on, okay? And then all I do is twist this little piece into a little circle, and there's the halo. Can you see that? All right, so there's your angel, and of course you wanna to remember to draw a face on your angel. I drew curly hair and bodacious eyelashes. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Those are your angels. Now save all the supplies, put everything back in the bag and save it. And we'll see next week what it is you're going to be making out of the bag. But before I go, I wanted to let you know down at the bottom of the craft page, I put a little note that says this craft idea came from daniellesplace.com. It's a really fun website. So you can check that out if you want some more ideas. A lot of great ideas out there. Have a great week, kids. Peace be with you.